Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park. Powerful earthquake that struck late today right off Alaska. A 7.3 magnitude quake right off the coast, triggering a tsunami warning. The Yellowstone volcano eruption 690,000 years ago caused the ground to collapse into a magma reservoir. What if America's crown jewel is sitting on a time bomb capable of wiping out civilization as we know it? Yellowstone is not just a park, it's a ticking clock. Beneath its forests and geysers lies the Red Yellowstone Supervolcano, a geological beast so vast that scientists admit it could change the world in a single eruption. But here's the terrifying truth. Yellowstone is starting to breathe again. The ground is rising. Red Yellowstone earthquakes are swarming in record numbers. Gas emissions, including sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, are seeping at alarming rates. And geysers that slept for decades are suddenly roaring back to life. Is this the natural rhythm of a living planet, or the countdown to the Red Yellowstone Eruption 2025 scenario that experts fear could devastate half the continent? Chapter 1. Yellowstone's Fiery Heart How much fire hides beneath the world's favourite park? Deep under Yellowstone's peaceful surface lies a magma reservoir stretching for 60 kilometers, a pool of molten rock so enormous it could cover entire states in volcanic ash. Scientists estimate over 1,000 cubic kilometers of magma are stored here. That's more than 10,000 times the size of Mount St. Helens' infamous 1980 eruption. The red Yellowstone magma chamber feeds geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, acting like a valve for the monster below. But it's not enough to relieve the pressure. Experts warn that every geyser eruption is a reminder. Yellowstone is still alive. What would happen if the chamber ruptured tomorrow? Models suggest an explosion 1,000 times stronger than Hiroshima. Asheville could bury red Yellowstone eruption US cities like Denver, Salt Lake City, and even Chicago. Crops across the Midwest could be destroyed in a single season. Flights across the globe could be grounded for years. So we must ask, is Yellowstone's fiery heart just restless, or is it preparing for its next great outburst? Chapter 2. Yellowstone is breathing. Why is the ground rising and falling like a living creature's chest? Yellowstone's surface isn't solid. It moves like a giant lung. Since 2004, GPS sensors have recorded red Yellowstone ground uplift of up to 25 centimeters in some areas. To scientists, this is a red flag. Magma is shifting. In 2024 alone, over 3,000 red Yellowstone earthquakes rattled the region, most small, but clustered into seismic swarms. These swarms often precede eruptions in other volcanic systems. Could they be Yellowstone's warning heartbeat? Gas levels add to the alarm. Sulfur dioxide emissions have tripled in some areas. Carbon dioxide is venting at dangerous levels. Proof of magma rising closer to the surface. Geysers once dormant, like Steamboat Geyser, have erupted multiple times, shocking even seasoned geologists. So here's the question. Is Yellowstone's breathing harmless, or the final calm before the storm? If you want to uncover the shocking truth behind Yellowstone's secrets, make sure you hit subscribe right now. Don't wait until the ground shakes. Stay ahead of the eruption before it's too late. Chapter 3. History of Disaster what can Yellowstone's past tell us about our future? The story of Red Yellowstone's supervolcano eruptions is written not in books, but in the land itself. Beneath its steaming geysers and bubbling mud pools lies a record of three unimaginable cataclysms. Events so violent they scarred an entire continent and left behind Red Yellowstone caldera scars still visible from space. The first was the Red Huckleberry Ridge eruption about 2.1 million years ago, an explosion so colossal that it ranks among the largest volcanic events in Earth's history. Ash blanketed half of North America, skies darkened, temperatures plummeted, entire ecosystems collapsed in the choking grip of volcanic winter. It was a reminder that Yellowstone's power reaches far beyond the park's borders. The second came 1.3 million years ago, the Red Mesa Falls eruption. Small Smaller in scale but still devastating enough to send ash across continents and trigger global climate disruptions. This wasn't just a local disaster, it was planetary in scope. 
crops withered, animal populations crashed, and the world felt the weight of a sleeping giant's stirrings. Then, 640,000 years ago, came the Red Lava Creek eruption, reshaping Yellowstone into the vast crater, the caldera we see today. This eruption ejected more than a thousand cubic kilometers of rock and ash, dwarfing anything in recorded human history. Imagine Mount St. Helens, but 1,000 times more powerful. The land the land we walk on today is literally molded by that ancient fury. Each eruption plunged Earth into years of volcanic winter, reshaping climates, altering evolution, and forcing life itself to adapt or perish. Each eruption is proof that Red Yellowstone eruptions past and future are not myth. They are inevitability. So here's the chilling question. If it happened three times before, why wouldn't it happen again? The last eruption was 640,000 years ago. Scientists remind us that Yellowstone does not erupt on a strict schedule, but the silence of 640,000 years is not safety, it's suspense. If the Red Yellowstone Eruption 2025 scenario became reality, would our fragile, interconnected world survive? Could modern civilization withstand years without harvests, skies blackened by ash and economies shattered overnight? Or would Yellowstone's history become humanity's final warning? Chapter 4 The Hidden Signals Are the clues already here, and are we ignoring them? Every day, Red Yellowstone supervolcano signals ripple quietly beneath the surface. To the millions of tourists wandering its geyser fields, the landscape feels timeless eternal. But scientists see something far more sinister, a system that is restless, shifting, and whispering warnings that most of us refuse to hear. Beneath the surface, swarms of red Yellowstone earthquakes ignite in sudden clusters, sometimes hundreds in a single week. Most are too small to be felt, but together they form an unsettling pattern. Tremors that suggest magma and fluids are moving within the caldera's complex plumbing. Is this harmless seismic chatter or the restless shifting of a giant waking from its sleep? The very ground beneath Yellowstone is alive. Satellite measurements reveal the red Yellowstone caldera deformation, swelling and sinking like a great heaving chest. In some years, the floor rises by several inches, as if pressure is mounting below. Then, without warning, it drops again, like the system exhaling. But what if this breathing is not stability at all, but the build-up before a violent release? The air itself carries warnings. Vents release red Yellowstone gas emissions, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide surging in unusual amounts. These gases poison animals, scorch vegetation, and in the past have been linked to eruptions. Some experts insist these spikes are natural cycles. Others warn they are unmistakable precursors of a system under stress. And then there are the geysers. Iconic features like Steamboat Geyser have erupted with unprecedented vigor, while new hot springs appear where none existed, and old ones suddenly fall silent. Even satellites orbiting high above Earth detect red Yellowstone thermal anomalies, strange heat signatures shifting in ways never recorded before. So the question is terrifying in its simplicity. Are these signs nothing more than Yellowstone's normal heartbeat? Or are they the first cracks in the countdown to catastrophe? If the supervolcano truly is preparing to awaken, are we ignoring the very signals that could one day decide the survival of millions? Chapter 5 A Blast Beyond Imagination what would happen if Yellowstone erupted tomorrow morning? Imagine this, sunrise over Yellowstone, tourists stroll boardwalks, cameras flashing at Old Faithful. Suddenly, the earth convulses, a deafening roar splits the air, the ground fractures as a column of ash erupts 20 miles into the sky. Within 24 hours, ash blankets half the United States. Denver is buried, Kansas farmland suffocates, flights across North America are cancelled indefinitely. Within weeks, a red Yellowstone volcanic winter begins. Ash blocks sunlight, dropping global temperatures. Crops fail in Asia, Africa, and Europe. Supply chains collapse. Economists predict trillions lost and millions facing starvation. This wouldn't just be a national tragedy, it would be a planetary crisis. Could civilization as we know it survive? Chapter 6 Prediction or Preparation is science enough to save us? 
Here's the cruel truth. We cannot predict the exact day or year of a red Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Scientists can only measure probabilities, not certainties. The Red Yellowstone Volcano Observatory tracks every tremor, every gas surge, every inch of land uplift. Satellites monitor heat. Seismometers catch whispers of magma shifting. And yet, earthquakes strike without warning. Volcanoes erupt after centuries of silence. So the real question isn't prediction, it's preparation. Are we building shelters? Are we stockpiling supplies? Are global leaders ready for a disaster that could cripple agriculture, trade, and entire nations? Or are we ignoring the warning signs, hoping Yellowstone stays asleep a little longer? Chapter 7. Yellowstone's Final Warning The silence is not safety, it's suspense. Every day Yellowstone stays quiet feels like a blessing. Tourists marvel at Old Faithful, campers hike its trails, and families picnic beside steaming hot springs. But beneath the postcard beauty, the truth is far darker. Silence in Yellowstone is not calm, it's pressure. The red Yellowstone supervolcano is still alive, still restless, and still holding secrets that could change the world. Scientists monitoring the region know this well. Red GPS monitoring Yellowstone reveals ground swelling, millimeters each year, a sign of magma rising. Red Yellowstone gas emissions show carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide leaking from the crust, whispering of activity below. Even small quakes, sometimes hundreds a week, mark the restless shifting of a system too vast to ignore. Each tremor is a reminder, this sleeping giant is not dead. And here's the chilling part. History shows Yellowstone erupts in cycles. Three times in the last 2.1 million years, it has unleashed red Yellowstone mega eruptions, each thousands of times larger than Mount St. Helens. Each time it reset ecosystems, changed climates, and scarred continents. The clock hasn't stopped ticking. We are simply living between eruptions. So what would happen if Yellowstone's silence suddenly broke? Would it start small, with geysers failing and ground swelling until people notice something's wrong? Or would it explode without warning, and red apocalyptic Yellowstone eruption scenario where ash blocks the sun, crops fail worldwide, and billions face famine? Even scientists admit, prediction is impossible. They can measure, they can model, but they cannot guarantee safety. Every year of silence is not reassurance, it's suspense. So we must ask, is Yellowstone's final warning already happening in the subtle signs? The gas leaks, the rising ground, the constant tremors? Or are we ignoring the clues, mistaking the calm before catastrophe as safety? Chapter 8. Ashfall, Apocalypse, America Buried Alive What if the deadliest effect of Yellowstone isn't lava, but ash that smothers half a continent? Most people imagine rivers of lava when they think of volcanoes, but with the Red Yellowstone supervolcano, the real killer is ash. Models show that if Yellowstone erupted at full force, it could hurl red volcanic ash Yellowstone eruption up to 20 miles into the atmosphere. Winds would carry it across the United States within days. The Red Yellowstone Ashfall map is terrifying. Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho could be buried in several feet of choking debris. Denver, Salt Lake City, and even Chicago could receive inches. Enough to collapse roofs, poison water supplies, and ground aircraft indefinitely. Fine ash particles would infiltrate engines, computers, and lungs, making entire regions uninhabitable. Agriculture. Destroyed. Ash clouds block sunlight, plunging temperatures and wiping out harvests. A single red Yellowstone ash cloud global cooling could trigger food shortages across the planet. Imagine corn, wheat, and rice failing simultaneously in multiple countries. Could humanity endure another volcanic winter, one that might last a decade? Planes wouldn't fly, power plants would fail, the internet itself, dependent on satellites and delicate electronics, could grind to a halt under the storm. And here's the haunting question. Would Yellowstone's true legacy be fire and fury? Or a slow suffocation as civilization struggles to dig itself out of a continent-wide grave of ash? Chapter 9. Yellowstone versus the supervolcanoes of the world. Is Yellowstone the most dangerous volcano on Earth? 
or just the one we fear the most? When people hear the word Red Supervolcano, one name dominates the imagination, Red Yellowstone. But Yellowstone isn't the only ticking time bomb beneath our planet's crust. Across the globe, other giants lie in silence. Monsters whose past eruptions nearly ended civilizations and reshaped the course of history. Take Red Toba in Indonesia. 74,000 years ago, it unleashed an eruption so colossal it plunged Earth into a volcanic winter. Ash and gases darkened skies, global temperatures plummeted, and humanity itself teetered on the brink of extinction. Genetic studies suggest our species may have been reduced to just a few thousand survivors. Imagine that same scale of destruction today in our interconnected, fragile world. Or consider Red Taupo in New Zealand, whose violent eruptions over the past 10,000 years shattered landscapes and spread ash as far as Antarctica. Even in recent centuries, Taupo has shown it can explode with a force unmatched by most volcanoes alive today. Then there's Red Campi Flegre in Italy, a hidden caldera lurking beneath Naples, surrounded by millions of people. Scientists warn that even a medium-scale eruption here could devastate Europe, sending shockwaves through global economies. And in Japan, the Red Era Caldera threatens one of Asia's most densely populated regions, a reminder that explosive fury lurks right beneath modern cities. Yet despite these threats, Red Yellowstone Eruption Risk USA stands apart. Why? Because of its scale, its central location, and its global consequences. Unlike remote Toba or Taupo, Yellowstone sits in the very heart of North America, surrounded by farmland that feeds the world, cities that power global trade, and infrastructure that ties nations together. If Yellowstone were to erupt, its ash wouldn't just blanket the United States, it could choke skies worldwide, cripple harvests, collapse supply chains, and spark wars over food, energy, and survival. Scientists call it a global threat multiplier. Yellowstone wouldn't be just another disaster, it would be the disaster, the one that defines human history. Which raises the most terrifying question of all. What if Yellowstone erupts before any of its rivals? Would it become the cataclysm that no civilization, no matter how advanced, could ever forget? Chapter 10. A World Without Sun – Yellowstone's Climate Catastrophe What if Yellowstone's eruption turned summer into winter and day into night? The deadliest legacy of a red Yellowstone eruption supervolcano may not be ash or earthquakes. It may be the sky itself. When a supervolcano blows, it injects sulfur aerosols and ash into the stratosphere. These particles reflect sunlight, cooling the planet for years. Scientists call this effect a red volcanic winter Yellowstone. History offers clues. After the eruption of Tambora in 1815, the world endured the year without a summer. Crops failed. Famine killed millions. Now, scale that up a hundred times, and you have Yellowstone. Models show that a super eruption could lower global temperatures by 10 degrees Fahrenheit for up to a decade. Ice sheets could expand. Ocean currents could shift. Entire ecosystems could collapse. But the human toll would be even greater. Billions rely on industrial farming, fragile supply chains, and global trade. What happens when crops fail on multiple continents at once? What happens when livestock starve? When rivers freeze earlier? When energy grids collapse under the demand for heat? Even more terrifying. Red Yellowstone eruption climate models suggest that the sudden cooling could trigger geopolitical chaos. Nations fighting for dwindling food supplies mass migrations, conflict over resources like never before. So here's the chilling thought. Could Yellowstone's eruption be the disaster that doesn't just destroy cities, but rewrites the climate of Earth itself? If this vision shook you, don't wait for the ash to fall. Subscribe, share this video, and join us as we uncover more hidden threats beneath the Earth's surface. Because when Yellowstone breathes again, the question isn't whether life will change, it's whether humanity is ready to survive what comes after.